Yellowstone, a breathtaking landscape of natural beauty. But beneath this tranquility lies a sleeping giant, a super volcano with the power to reshape our world. Imagine you're there when suddenly the ground begins to tremble violently, a magnitude 7.0 or higher earthquake, the first sign of the catastrophe to come. This is no ordinary earthquake. The land itself begins to tear apart as the magma chamber 50 miles long and 25 miles wide, or 80 by 40 kilometers, prepares to breach the surface. And then, boom! An explosion releasing the energy of over 1,000 atomic bombs blasting an estimated 600 cubic miles, or over 1,000 cubic kilometers, of ash and rock into the atmosphere. The ash cloud, a colossal wave of darkness, spreads across North America, potentially covering cities like Denver and over three feet of ash, or one meter within days. A volcanic winter descends. Global temperatures could plummet by an average of 18 degrees Fahrenheit or 10 degrees Celsius. And this devastating cooling effect could last for over a decade. With sunlight severely diminished, photosynthesis is drastically reduced. Most crops in the Northern Hemisphere would fail, leading to a catastrophic global food crisis. The weight of the ash causes buildings to collapse. The fine particles clog and destroy engines, grounding all air travel and stopping most vehicles. Our modern infrastructure grinds to a halt. Gases from the eruption mix with atmospheric water, creating deadly acid rain that poisons nearly all open water sources and kills remaining vegetation. The luckiest survivors would retreat to underground bunkers or sealed habitats, as the air in many regions would be filled with fine glass-like ash, making it dangerous to breathe without protection. The effects are global. Monsoon patterns in Asia shift dramatically, causing widespread floods and droughts. The entire planet's ecosystem is thrown into chaos. Over the years, a prolonged volcanic winter could accelerate a global cooling trend. Though a full new ice age is a more complex process, dependent on many factors. But life is resilient. New hardy organisms might adapt to the colder, harsher environment, beginning a new evolutionary path over thousands of years. Would humanity survive this great filter? Or would our civilization, which took 200,000 years to build, become just another layer in the Earth's geological history? The giants of our world are not always visible. And when they wake, then what?